hi guys so this video is about the m15 breakup block pattern so right on addition to the last video you must understand that the market has to change from being an uptrend to being a downtrend it has to change from being a downtrend to being an uptrend and for it to do this it has to form the what it has to form the breaker block pattern and the pattern which i have come to like is the breaker block pattern so which which is the breaker block pattern on the m15 minutes time frame of course you can use the five minutes time frame you can use the 30 minutes time frame but ah those time frames for me they are not they are they are not convenient so i've come to master the m15 breakup block pattern so what does the so when should you look for the m15 breakup block pattern as for this part of the video i use the i start to look for the breakup block pattern if my TTI, which is the TTI with the RSI value of 21, when the price line on that TTI is what is above 68 for the oversold region or it's below the 32 value on the RSI, 32 or 68. So, yeah, that's when I start to look for the what? For the breaker block pattern. So, here yeah, I wrote, so the first step you have to do is look for oversold or overbought region on, on the one hour time frame using the what? The TTI. Then after doing that, you go on the M15 or the 15 minutes time frame. Then you start looking for the what? For the breakup block pattern. So one thing which you which you must take note is that you don't just look for a pattern <laughs> these patterns sometimes they are just they are so clear cut and and you just have to look look for 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 these patterns so for me i have come to realize that on the tdi every time when there is a breaker block pattern so we we'll start by focusing on this on the buy setup and then we'll then talk about the what the sale setup so right looking at the first setup we know that price moves by forming a lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low and then it has to change how does it change it has to break here come to areas of interest it can bounce there it can bounce there either way it can also do this oh it can do it like this it can form lower low lower high lower low and then fail to break here so we are not we are not yet sure what's happening and then it comes here to form a what a higher a higher high it breaks here it comes back it can come back all these patterns you can use them but the one i have come to be confident about is when price just does this breaks here comes and retest and moves like this so i'll start by talking about the buy setup buy setup for the buy setup m15 breaker block breaker block pattern so the first lower low we are talking about this one so the first lower low should be a shark fin so how do you identify sometimes it's very difficult to see this pattern so if you want to indicators that's where indicators come in and they, that's when they actually help you so what are you looking for mind you this tti the rsi value is 21 the rest of the signals is is, is normal but the rsi value is what is 21 so what are you looking for the first lower low should be a shark fin then it has to form a what it has to so first lower low then a 
a lower high. It has to break the first lower low to give a second what lower low. The second lower low should cause a break in what in market structure. It should break the lower high, the previous lower high. So that if if you are looking at this, you can see that it did this, it broke. So this is the second what lower low. It has to break this structure and then come and retest there or this area becomes the area of what area of interest. So what are you looking for? Uh, we can talk of first lower low, lower high, second lower low, break in market structure, return to area of interest, and then the price moves like that. So on this pattern, I'll focus on what? I'll focus on, I'll now explain. So first lower low should be a shark fin. It forms the, its lower high. It breaks and forms the second lower low. This time, the to identify the proper second lower low, it should be inside Bollinger Band number one. It should be a divergence. It sometimes it can be what a divergence pattern. So when it's a divergence pattern now, you are waiting for it, even if it's not if it's inside the band like shark fin plus inside band. If it should break the previous what lower high, so there is BOS breaking market structure, break of structure, and then it has to come back to areas of what of interest, and then sometimes when it come, it it comes to return to area of interest. It has to what to be above. It can sometimes give it above MBO. It can give an MBO bounce, or it can actually. Be slightly below the market baseline, the MPO, but sometimes it's not really clear cut. So you have to, you have to just be patient with these setups, and then to confirm these setups, you just have to go not the M3. You have to go on the M3 time frame. On M3 time frame, these setups don't change. So what you are going to see is a what is an MPL bounce on the 30 minutes time frame. These time frames never changes. Then I'll talk about the sell setup. So same thing applies for this one. So number one, we've got formation of the first higher high. So first higher high, we've got what? First higher high, higher low. Second, second higher what? Second higher high. And then it has to break what? The structure, BOS, return to what? Area of interest. This one becomes the area of interest. It can bounce at any region, but it, it should not pass this point. Or you actually see in other instances, weeks you just see weeks like this and then it just what go this direction so going on to this one we've got first higher high higher low higher high breaking market structure same applies first higher high should be a shark fin second higher high should be inside paint divergence pattern and then after that it has to break the second high high or the second low low, it has to break the, the market strike. If it doesn't do that well, that's a problem. But it has to what? Break market strike. And then it has to return to area of interest. After returning to area of interest, that's when you are looking for what? If you go on M3, you see that the market is actually about to bounce on the MPA or something like that. So for entries now, which is step number three. You have to go on M5. So on M5, what are you looking for? You can actually see sometimes a shark fin plus inside band, or you will see the power of three. Sometimes if you see power of three and it's a divergence pattern or a triple bottom or triple top, or it's a pattern whereby you have got three legs, 
which are moving downwards and then the TTI is forming divergence and moving upwards, you are certainly guaranteed that the price will move up. Or if sometimes on the now that you are on M5, you must first see a shark fin. The shark fin just makes you to believe that what market has reached the lowest point it can go. So it's a when it's it has reached the lowest point it can go, so it has to go up. That actually gives you an extra confirmation. So I are using the M5 for confirmation, using the shark fin on M5, and then also looking at the M3 pattern. So on M5, you see a shark fin plus inside bend, you enter on the second leg. Always remember that. And it's usually a divergence pattern. Divergence patterns should be trusted. Or you can see, here I wrote, you see power of three. That is if you see divergence and there are three legs. Oh, you see an MPO bounce. Either way, that's just that just confirms that what? It's a good end for both sales and buys. So going on to examples. So examples, I'll give the first example. So what you see, I said first step, you have to see what oversold. I'm sorry guys, you keep on seeing buy setups only, but I'll look for sell setups. So you will see always it has to be what? 32 oversold, number one. So you now know that what price is red. So what are you looking for? You're looking for a breaker block, breaker block pattern on M15. So on M15, what you see? I said the first lower low should be what? Should be a shark fin. So if we look for our shark fin, this is our what? Our first lower low so we now know that we have seen this it has to form a what a lower high then it has to break so here you can see there is divergence divergence so this becomes a what a second leg how do you even confirm that this is a proper second leg it has to break the structure so we can see that the highest the previous lower high was this point so it broke the structure so we now know that it is to what return to order block so what are we doing now we have to mark the lowest point you can mark the lowest point being this one and then this one so this area this whole area this shaded area becomes our what? area of interest so what do we do next now that we have seen that the market is what is now returning returning to area of interest you will check your 30 minutes time frame. So what do you do? Let me go to 30 minutes time frame. Right. On 30 minutes time frame, you are now reversing to what? To area of interest. So what are you going to see? You will see a divergence. Always. This is key. You will see a what? A divergence. So after seeing a divergence, you now know that, ah, probably... This is a high probability setup and the probability of losing is very low. So what are you doing next? You now go on M5. Right. On M5 time frame, for you to start counting place of entry, I said you have to see what a shark fin. So what are you looking for at a shark fin? A, at M5, you are looking for the first point to be what? A shark fin. So, where is our shark fin? This is our shark fin. Now, this one was an atypical entry. But if I was looking at the market, I was going to take my, my chances. You can see the shark fin. So, you know that from this point, either price will give a divergence and move up. And you'll be expecting a what? A divergence. But here you can see what? Power of three. So this is power of three, but it's not really a what a divergence. So sometimes these things you have to weigh. And remember your stop loss would be the what the lowest point of what of the market. So let's say this was a what a divergence pattern. You would expect to see a what shark fin. You expect to see a shark fin inside bend and move away. However, this did not happen here. So you can 
go on M1 to confirm entries, but the idea behind it is this one. Especially if you know that M3 is agreeing, M15, there is a breaker block pattern. Ah, you can take your chances. Or you can actually trade at the breakout there. If anything is possible. Oh, we can see a minor MPO bounce, but it's a bit far. There is no contact there. All right, let me go to my second example. Right, my second example is Euro USD pay. So, number one, let me start by looking for what the one hour, one hour time frame to look for an oversold region. Right, this is a what an oversold region. We can see this. So, what do you do next? Go on M15. Right, on M15, you're looking for what? The usual. You're looking for what? The breakup block pattern. How do you identify the breakup block pattern? We're saying our first leg or first lower low is a what? Is a shark fin. So, there is our shark fin. So, what are you doing next? You now know that this is our shark fin. Then, we formed our second what? Lower low, it's a divergence. Divergence. It has to break the what? Market structure. So breaking market structure. And then it has to be above the what? The market baseline. So it's either this one. It's because the lowest point. It's either this one or this one. So how do you confirm what? Entries. As for me, guys, you can look for a... This was our first lower low, second lower low, break, retain, this one. Here there was no shark fin, so it's a no-no. So this one. Remember, this one is still what is still valid if you do it like this. Right. Here you can see it retained to area of interest. So what are you looking for on the TTI? A shark fin. So a shark fin is a, is a deal breaker or the one which actually facilitates the deal. So what are you looking for? Shark fin, the number one, number two, number three. But this was even, there was no what divergence. So how do you confirm? Sometimes for these entries, just use the power of what? The power of threes. You know that power of threes always work. So it's better to do it like that. Right, let me look for another example. Right, a V hundred example. Number one, oversold region. Always oversold region on one hour. What's next? Right, we're looking for a what? A shark fin. This was not our shark fin. But ha. Huh? Let, let, let's just look and then so this is our shark fin here is our previous lower what lower low we're looking for a what this was not even a divergence let's let's see it was it was a divergence this was a divergence divergence this is a bit straight then it broke what market structure then so you are marking this point and this point. So all this territory is a what? Is an area of interest. So you are now looking for what? Areas above the MPL. So this one was slightly below. So what are you looking for? You are now going on what? M5. Right, this is the M5. Always look for a what? A shark fin. So this is our shark fin. Shark fin number one, divergence inside the, the second leg should always be inside what? Bollinger band. This is this one. And then I said to master the skill, you can use the what? Power of three. So power of three, I think the market can go up to three. And then so it's just sometimes, this is the market, remember the market is a bit fun. Sometimes it can give you 
the third one sometimes it can just give you those these two legs and then it just shoots so sometimes i think it's better if you use the what the power of three power of three yeah sometimes but sometimes i think it depends you you <laughs> sometimes you can just make your judgment <laughs> and but i think i've explained oh i forgot the 30 minutes time frame this one was above the market baseline so i uh, i would consider taking the trade it's 50 50 guys remember but i think if you trade these setups you know that probability of winning is what is that you can actually look for picture perfect what setups but let me look for another example yeah i like this setup oversold oversold what do you do next this one i'll just jump to m8 and then m15 and then or right, let me use the proper way so 20 march from 500 I don't know, but these setups, I think, on Deriv, they appear around 2 a.m. But, yeah, anyway. So, here, we've got a what? This is a shark fin. Remember, it's coming from outside. Then it gives, it gave us this first lower low, lower high, break of structure, divergence, above, lower high, return to what? Area of interest. This becomes our area of interest. It's above what? MPL. What do you do next? To confirm this part that you are not doing anything wrong, you go on M M3. M3, it's, it gave us a nice what? MPO bounce. Ta! So you know ah, this is definitely a win. So that's how it, that's just how you take trades. All right, let me look for this other one. I think it's boom thousand or boom something. Let me look here for it this is v75 everything guys this strategy is just lit oversold reaching remember 32 what do you do next you go and m15 right first lower low it has to be a shark thing always remember this guys always remember always remember so what are you looking for shark fin then break because there is break so second lower low divergence divergence just to break what previous lower high and then return to order so our order blocks is this area around here how do you confirm so here look the tdi is above what the tdi is above the mpo line so what do you do you go on m3 let's look for m3 right m3 it gives a what mpo pounds mpo pounds on what 30 minutes time frame extra confirmation i think let me just go on ah, 17 february is just too far but guys i think i've explained too much cheers 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 and remember your take profit should be 200 ema 15 minutes time frame the first tp and then you can start tracking what you can start tracking the stop loss or you can to be safe if you want to hold for long but sometimes these trades they can actually go a long way so i think you can just sometimes confirm if, if the day one daily time frame is giving you a shark fin or h4 depending on which one is giving you a, a, a a shark fin so if it's day daily time frame which is giving you a shark fin, you know that the market will go a long long way but sometimes if it's the h4 you can just try to hold or leave one position or something and hold for so yeah guys i think i've explained enough cheers 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 have a good day